here today. We thank you for each one that is present here today. We glorify your name, Lord, because it could have been otherwise. We could have parted and departed from this earth, but we bless your holy name for your mercy. And Holy Spirit, we thank you for your demonstration in our midst today from the moment we start. We thank you for the revival in our soul. And we give you the glory. And at this junction, Lord, our brother is coming. Holy Spirit, I pray you will ascend with him as he comes to speak to us. Help us to be keen listeners and hear what the Holy Spirit has got to say to us, Lord. So that when we leave here today, we will take away something new that God is real forever and forever. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we leave all things in your hand, Lord, and the preacher now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Thank you, Gracious. We are speaking up with David and Thompson. Brother Thompson, your congregation. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the he will hear you. He will answer by and by. See a little fire is burning. We know the fire we are burning. I believe the God. Jesus, I'm truly happy to be with you today. Thank God for 
got a crevice coming in today. And I had asked him to minister for us today, but he said he wasn't sure he's going to be here. So I said, okay. I said, but I was surprised and glad to see him coming in. Because yeah. And he has been a blessing to us. Yeah. He's always been a blessing to us. Yeah. And we are happy for you, my brother. God yeah. bless you. And thank God for Brother Clinton standing in as well. Yeah. Yeah. Praise, Praise the Lord. Standing in the gap. Yeah. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord, Jesus. And, uh, yeah. you, know, you know, God is so wonderful. You know, God business has to go on. Yeah. If I'm not here, God is a man. Yeah. If he's not here, God is a man. God is never without a man. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So we thank God. We thank God. And um, God, thank God for God's brothers and wife coming to the family. Thank God for them as well. You know, we're all in the house of the Lord. And we're here for no reason but to glorify. Amen. Our God. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. So many things have been said. My soul is blessed. I will go home. Thank God. God bless you, my sister. And is the first time you have been here? No. Okay. God bless you. Well, good to see you. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And we are here on the battlefield for my Lord. And so many things have been said. And, um, you know, um, but Paris mentioned about the season that we are into today, yeah. and we are in a wonderful yeah. season because without this season, we wouldn't have a purpose to be here. We wouldn't be here anyway. Yeah. There would be no cause for us to be here. Yeah. Praise the name of Jesus. But thank God for this season. Yeah. And thank God also for my wife and the back there. Oh, God Lord. bless you, and I'm really happy to be in the house of the Lord today yeah. to worship the wonderful name of Jesus. Yeah. Our theme today is the power of prayer. Praise the Lord Jesus. Uh, as we read the scripture earlier on about uh, taking from Luke uh, chapter 18. Um, you know something is it's our duty, 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 duty to pray. If we're children of God, we have no life without a prayer life. Praise the name of Jesus. You see, prayer is something that can um, connect us to God. So, when we don't pray, and we not to pray, the connection to God is broken. Praise the Lord Jesus. So, prayer, there's a power in prayer. Praise the Lord Jesus. Because when we pray in the name of Jesus, you hear about instant messaging that goes straight to God. You know, if you post a letter uh, to the side of the world, it takes days to go there. But when you call upon the name of Jesus, yeah. you're talking to God. You're connecting to God. Yeah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yeah. And uh, Jesus spoke this parable about this man. Praise the Lord. Now he goes back about the woman, the widow, went, wanted justice. Luke 18, verse 1 says, and he spoke a parable to them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Now, opportunity comes when we feel faint. Situations come upon us when we feel like we can't make it. We can't take another step. We can't go no further. And sometimes we feel like we can even we as well throw in the towel because we've been serving God and we've been doing this and we've been doing that and the situation whatever it may be still in front of us so we are in a situation that we feel faintish but when we reach a situation like that we are to pray because as I said prayer connects us the same God who could you know, God makes something out of nothing. He always makes something out of nothing. He created this universe by his word. The Bible says the word was in darkness. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. 
There was nothing but water. And God called the land out of water. So this God, you can say he's powerful. We were talking about how to talk, you know, how to talk with Jesus and how wonderful Jesus is. And we're talking about all in the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. He is above all. He is all in all. Without him, there is nothing. So this widow woman came to the judge. Verse 2 says, In the city there was a judge, and the judge which feared not God, nor God in men. I think if a, if a judge don't fear God, and God men, I think he could say that's a tough judge. You can't be tougher than that. Because let a fear man not God. So in other words, whatever he says or whatever he does is law. And it can't be overturned. Praise the Lord Jesus. And the woman had a problem. And she came to the judge. And the widow, verse 3 says, And there was a widow in the city. And she came unto him saying, Avenge me. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you need justice. And justice is not coming anywhere. If you look to the north, you look, look to the left. There's no justice. Everywhere you look, everything is against you. Nothing is going your way. And you're doing your best. You're walking right. You're doing everything right. But nothing, justice is coming your way. You need justice. So this widow woman kept coming to the judge. And the judge did not listen. But he says, after a while, the judge comes and says, She's going to wear with me because every day this woman is coming to me and telling me to adventure, adventure, adventure. I'm going to get weary. So, all of them not to get weary and adventure. It was to tell us, brethren, that whatever we need from God and we pray for it, God hears. And he will answer. It's an example. It's an early uh, heavenly school with a, with a early school with a heavenly meaning. Men should always pray and not faint. There's all sorts of situation that comes up on us from time to time. Situation that we have no control over. And sometimes we wonder why me you know, I always say to them, don't like me. But it's mutual because I don't like him either. In the situation which come upon us as the children of God, it does come upon us. And we cannot control the situation. We need to pray. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says we must pray in a season. You know, pray is a way of life. In every situation, in every problem, whatever it may be, whether it's sickness, whether it's any need, whether it's we are bound and we want to be loose, the only oh. thing we have is prayer. Yeah. That's why I love prayer meeting. When I think you know, when we come to prayer meeting, we just charge up. Like we need to trust each other. We need to get that full of time. We need to get one of the journey. Oh. We can keep taking up the feet up again. We can't keep going on one time. We go no. So prayer is what charges us spiritually. It makes us strong. It engenders us. It connects us to God. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord says it, the devil thinks when he sees the weakest things on his knees. You know, that's why somewhere it says, Oh, but peace. We often forfeit. Oh, but needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything. Babylon, look what I made of my own hands. And this devil can have spirits 
some time coming up, start on the mountains, children of God, to have a Nebuchadnezzar spirit. Because the Nebuchadnezzar spirit takes us away from God. And puts power on ourselves. Let me believe that we are in the presence of God. And once we feel that we are in the presence of God, everything done. And we're going back here and back. Because God had to humble him. Sometimes things, things come upon us and God wants to humble us. God wants us to realize that without him we are nothing. Without somebody else, without him I am nothing. Without him I will sure fear. This self business, we're going to get away from it. We're going to subdue ourselves unto God. We're going to humble ourselves unto God. We're going to realize that without him, without the cross, without the death of Jesus, where would we be today? Who would we be today? What would we be today? Where is the Lord Jesus? It's his blood. It's his blood. It's not in the works of our own. No. We have nothing to boast about. Can be 
me something and take it back. No. God cannot give me something and take it back. He gave my authority. Yeah. I gave them told, gave an instruction how to maintain what he gave them. Yeah. Every tree of the garden fell in his tree. But the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not be Clear enough. Yeah. That's clear enough. Watch me. I'll let the tree is fine. Mm -hmm. Actually, don't, don't eat of that one. No. And if man had obeyed God, we would not be in this situation. No. So how can you obey God? Mm -hmm. We would not be in this situation. No. But God gave man dominion. And the only time that God will intervene in what's going on is if we ask him to intervene. Oh, yeah. And that's why. So whatever situation we find ourselves in, we will stay in it. And if we ask him, we will intervene. Because he gave it to us. He gave the world to us. He gave, it, he gave, he gave it the world to man. So if we don't ask him to intervene. And that's why there can be no peace. They can have as much peace talk as they want. Yeah. But if they leave all Jesus as his peace talk, it's not a peace talk. Yeah. It's not a real peace talk. No. No. And a peace talk can materialize yeah. without it. Peace of peace. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Yeah. And if you want peace, you have to have him in the peace talk. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah.
of fire goes up to God. And when God receives God's fire, that grass is in the answer. The answer is coming. Praise the Lord Jesus. James 5 15 says, And the fire of the, the fire of the faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise them up. And if you commit any sins, they shall be forgiven. So fire can save us today. And it can forgive sins. You know, Jesus gave us power. He said, I gone. But he said, the greater works than he do, the greater he do. He gave us authority. We have authority to cast out demons. We have authority to cast out demons because this the spirits have no control in this world. So we have the power of the spirits mm. through the blood of Jesus. Amen. How wonderful it is. Amen. God has given us the power. Amen. So we're not powerless. No. We just need to connect. Yeah. We need to move. But we don't need to move. We need to be the engine to the wheel. So the car can move. Yeah. So we can go forward. Yeah. And the car is not engaged. Yeah. To move forward with God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. And we shall find this in the eyes of the storm. Yeah. When the storm is raging and the veils begin to roll. Yeah. Praise the name of Jesus. Yeah. We have peace. We yeah. have to know who has the power yeah. to still the storm. Yeah. Jesus was in the boat, lying down, sleeping, and the storm yeah. was rocking the boat. Yeah. And then they started going down to him. She was sitting there. Well, this seems to be going backwards and forward, up and down. God knows the answer. We just have to say, wake him up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm tired. And he says, wake up, Jesus. Yeah. When we have a problem, it's like a wake up, Jesus. It's a little bit. It's a storm. It's raging on. It's scary. I can hear us. And the fire. And everything is coming down on us. And we don't know what to do. Let us wake up, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. 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 Amen
part of life, Father. The part of life, God. Holy Jesus, lead a break. This one that is prominent to Satan and hell's road. I pray, oh God, that they will see that it is necessary to turn to you. Hallelujah. Who is the life giver? Who is the burden bearer? Who gives the life and cleanliness? Who takes us out of filth and sin and brings us into righteousness and cleanness? We provide that. Hallelujah. We never fear of your life. Whatever the needs are, you are the provider. Help them to see that. You will provide for them. Hallelujah. Some of us are living in the means just because we can't provide. But Jesus said, come out from among them. Don't not be a creeping. Oh, Jesus, your Savior. Make me your Savior. Make me a friend. And I will provide for you. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the beginning. And I am the end. I will provide for you. Hallelujah. The sparrows eat and go to rest. Much less you, but to whom I am made. Blessed be God. Touch it to our Lord. That is at this podium today. I also pray for the children. Hallelujah. Sometimes they see so much that is not right. They hear so much that is not right. But Jesus, I pray to guide them, surround them, at school, at play, at home. Dangers, my God. Every danger, dangers everywhere. Sometimes you don't think it's in the home. But it can be in the home. We've heard of so many misdemeanors where children suffer within the home. So I pray, oh God, you bless each and every one of them here. As they travel to school, as they're at school with their maids, with their teachers and so on, Lord, I pray you cover them with the blood. Cover them with the blood of Jesus. Hey, Lord. And I pray, my God, that as they grow up, they will not depart from your righteousness. And may we experience this that they may see that in the light of God is in us. Bless each and every one today, I pray. Should there be any who's not feeling too well, Lord? I pray, heal of Jesus, that you will enter to wherever the problem is, whether it's in the mind or the body, that you will enter and touch them, Lord. And let them to realize that the touch is from you. And once you touch Jesus, it is fine. It is okay. Thank you, my God, for the message today. Who reminded us that prayer cries of a sword. And Jesus hears everyone's prayer. He heard the prayer of the thief on when he was on the cross. And he answered him favorable. He answered him positively. We should not always wait to be prayed for by someone. But God has given us a mouth each. Call on him. Because he's here. Call on him. He's always here. Blessed be God. Prove him. Prove him this day. And see what has happened. Bless each one here today, Lord. As you're about to go, I pray you will follow your choices. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. And let your love go with us, Lord. And let us know those who are not reading the Bible yet. Begin to read your Bible. Begin to read your Bible. It's a source, Lord, of your word. Bless us now, I pray, Lord. Whatsoever I may fail to ask I pray you not fail to grant it unto us today, Lord. Because oftentimes, as a human, we don't know what to cover. But Lord, I pray you cover the ground that is needed for everyone. Have that own sweet and pray, Lord, as we leave all things in your great hand. For faith believing that you want us today. Let us see the proof, Lord. That one day somebody will testify and say that they heard that Jesus Christ answered prayer. Thank you, Lord. Give you all the praise and we give you the honor. And I take you back to the name of the Father. And in the name of the Son. And in the name of the Blessed Holy Ghost. Let us go in peace. Through the God. Here's prayer. And he will 
that's the prayer. Of everyone who wants to pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise be to God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God.